lot of draft talk today. Fun night. Not as many moves and trades, but there was a biggie. Now, a couple months ago, there's Kirk Cousins, the new man in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. Four year, 180, 100 million guaranteed. I know he's hurt. Should be back. Oh, he's got hurt feelings. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so, Michael Penix, I could find no mock draft this morning. I went through 17 different mock drafts. None of them had Penix anywhere near the Atlanta Falcons. Of course, they take him uh, with the eighth pick. Very surprising. Um, now, <laughs> some people are comparing this to uh, four years ago mm -hmm. when the Packers traded up a little bit, traded up a little bit to get Jordan Love. And now we're going to discuss the differences, the similarities, etc., etc. But e there's irony here, a lot of irony. Remember a long, long time ago in the draft when the then Washington Redskins took RG3 and they traded up to get him? And it, everyone loved the pick. Look, A plus. Look at this. They got a new leader for their franchise. In that same draft, they took Kirk Cousins in round four. And I can remember being here the next day, being like, "What are they doing? What'd you do that for? Why would you do mm. that? <laughs> yeah. You you got your new quarterback, and you got another new quarterback. It was unprecedented. And look, Cousins could be a fine backup, but taking quarterbacks with two of their first three picks does not make sense. A lot of people said the same thing. That worked out fantastic for Washington <coughs> because. Their young star player got hurt. This is reversed, but I think this is football irony. Don't hate the play, they hate the pick at the bottom there. Yeah. Thank you, Todd. Yeah, but it, if you waste a, you can waste a fourth round pick, you can't waste the eighth pick overall. Right. So but that's it, different. It is irony that, that Kirk Cousins is being Kirk Cousined by in a different way. You know, he's the established guy. Mm. Wild night, we're gonna get into it. A lot going on. Fun night. <laughs>